to start is to make a slip knot for my hook. Insert the hook, leaving a tail that I can later weave in. Now it goes around the outside of the right hand bar. It is basically crochet. Now it's going around and behind. With my crochet hook, I grab one loop and pull it through that very first slip knot, which will now be considered one of my loops. Now I'm trying to center that because I want these the loops to be right in the middle of centered between the two pins. Now this is the trick. When you're ready to change it, I have brought the yarn over to the left pin. Instead of removing the hook, I flip it up through the frame. The frame turns toward me. And now the hook is on my side again, facing me. And the yarn has gone around to the back side of the frame. Opening up the loop that I've made now, the hook goes between into that loop, grab the back yarn, pull forward. I have two loops on the crochet hook. Grab another loop and pull it through those two. That is a single crochet. Now I have completed one full loop. There's a loop on each pin. And that is what I will continue to doing till I have 160 loops. Flip the hook up through to the back side. Rotate the frame to towards you. It's going clockwise, but think of moving the right hand side of the frame toward you. This is one, one reason I'm not real crazy about using the guide yarn, but it is helpful when you begin as it does tend to tangle up and you have to straighten it out. Again, reach through the loop that goes around the left pin, grab a loop, grab another loop, pull through the two loops on the hook. Put the hook through the frame, turn the frame toward you. The yarn goes around the outside of the right pin, what's now on the right, and your, all, your hook is always working through the loop on the left side of the frame. Because you're flipping the frame around, the new, the yarn goes around, what's on the left and becomes the right, and the right becomes the left, and so you're always working through that just finished loop. through
As you can see, this goes quite quickly. I'm moving slow, so you can watch and figure it out as I'm doing it. But once you get the hang of it, it's easy enough to watch TV, um, listen to music, and the loops add up very quickly. And most patterns, when they tell you to make 160 loops, they're talking, telling you to count only one side. In theory, 160, you would have 320 if you counted both sides. But most patterns tend to have you just count one side of the loop. So that is the beginning of hairpin lace.